Hello there and welcome back to another episode in Noble Fates. So, it is night time and I have been doing a little bit of off-camera work as you can see in the background right here. And um, yeah, we don't really have a lot of food left. However, we do have an interesting event here. It seems Meat is uh, looking for asylum. So, uh, yeah, I had a quick look through what he's good at as well and seems guarding which is great so he will definitely be good at keeping the prisoners at bay and making sure they're well behaved hunting and cooking he seems to be yeah a couple of things that he's interested in and same with mining so there's quite a few options we could execute him uh, capture him turn him away allow him to join and even though no one really will be happy with this decision i think we're gonna take meat in yeah we could always use another pair of hands to help us out, so meet. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot to check was... Uh, let's see. I forgot to check if he's uh, evil. He is neutral. Okay, not too bad. I would have preferred if he was uh, evil, but that's my bad. Totally forgot to check. Anyways, meat has now joined our colony and... Right, I'll just keep it at three times the speed. Meat needs a job. Okay, so maybe we look at that first real quick. Right, so definitely firefighting, nursing will be the most important things for him. After that, oh, he's not very interested in cooking. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm, all right, well, let's do guarding. And I'm sorry, Meat, but you are going to have to, yeah, you're, we need a cook in our colony. So this one, that one, foraging, hunting as well. And with the rest right now, he's quite interested in building though. Okay, do you know what? You can do a bit of building. Ooh, farming is actually very important as well. So maybe we'll lower, yeah, down to six and then mining eventually if we do something. Okay, cool. So that's it. Now we should probably do the same for the schedule as well. Okay, here we go. A bit of work time for him. Missed one. And eating. And the last one will be relaxing. Fantastic. So that's now set. And for the rooms. Oh, if we get to the right level. So the bottom one is going to go. Who is living in here? That's Michael. No one's really living here. So this could be for meat. Okay. That's wonderful. Yeah, food situation isn't looking very good. But hopefully meat can start... Oh, this just reminded, if he's going to go hunting, he will be needing a bow as well. Okay, do we have any spare ones? Oh, yes, we do. And, yep, that's meat, so we'll give you a short bow. What else do you need? Um, we'll probably have to start looking for a few hats and some gloves very soon as well. Actually, there are a couple of things here that he likes. So, cloth hood. Yeah, you're the only one that really likes it, so you can have it. Bandit mask. Shoes, do you have su uh, shoes? Yes, you do. What about gloves? Do we have any? Not really. But that seems to be pretty okay for, for now at least. Now with the food, what we could do is let's uh, have a quick look if we can trade with someone. Ooh, we've got some cooked imp over there. Bit of corn as well. So let's change that to seven. Money-wise, yep, we got 80 in the bank now. So that's also fantastic. And with the rest, uh, I think we are okay. Yes, we're happy. Homer, let's check what you have for us as well. Could buy some seeds. We'll take all the... Oh, well, I think we can to 14. Yep, there we go. Three of those and happy days. There we go. We've spent quite a bit of money now. Alrighty, so what I have been doing... Uh, I didn't really get to do a lot of off-camera work, but let's uh, go through it very quickly. We've got a couple of fences over here just to make sure we're looking after our... Uh, colonists and visitors well-being and their safety is our priority number one of course we have started building up those rooms at the top level as well with the sort of aim to clear this space out and use it for crafting and our little warehouse in here too i have put a temporary stockpile right in there but yeah it's not gonna be you know a lot of things oh hello there uh, oh, okay, we, hmm. So Ray wants to take meat away. Oh, everyone's gonna be so happy about that. You know what? Sorry, but 
Now we want to keep meat. All right, we've got the raiders here. Everyone is sleeping. That's really inconvenient, to be honest. Can you all go and attack Ray? Okay, there we go. Actually, why don't we check what sort of um, jumps he's interested in? Cleaning, hmm, holding, hmm, <laughs> prestige. Okay, we could try and capture him, actually. As long as, uh, wait a second. What's going on here? Okay, please run away. And seems the help is on its way. There we go. Alright, there we go. Get the hit points up as well. Oh, there we go. Can we please capture you? Baby dragon cap now. Yeah, maybe cap you can uh, treat him. And meet your neutral actually. So maybe cap is gonna try and capture Ray as soon as we've uh, bandaged him up. Okay, here we go. We may need another cell. Is anyone staying here? I don't think so, so how about we turn you into a cell? Okay, there we go. Actually, I do believe we had one spare already anyways, but that's okay. Cap, I believe you already have a bedroom. Yeah, so that can turn into a rental home as well. Michael, same with you. Let's make it a rental. And you and Elfrida is staying here. All right, everyone's got their uh, room now. And why is Ray not captured just yet? Let's look at the vitals real quick as well. Okay, you're not gonna die, well that's good. And now we do have another person that could work for us, but he's not on the list, of course, because they haven't been turned into a surf just yet. Okay, everyone get back to work. What do we have here? Oh, we have gotten a crown for melee and building. Sadly, Master Baby Dragon does not seem to like it, so Cap, what about you? What if we give this to... Okay, there we go, a bit of building, and that's pretty cool. Raises his prestige by another 19 as well. Okie dokie, now, the goal for this episode is to get rid of this area. Right, so we do have one villa already, and building these ones takes quite a bit of time. So what I was thinking, uh, how about we put in a temporary sort of cheaper housing options around this area. And for that, I'd actually like someone to try and learn the spiral staircases as well. So to accomplish our goals for this episode, let's uh, change this floor around so it's all the same. And I believe right about here is when we would like to start putting in some walls as well. Yep, there we go. We'll do a double stack right about there. I think the doors could be... Yeah, they could go through here, actually. Let's uh, try and mirror this as well. You... All the way here. What happened there? Okay, there we go. So that is good. And in here... Let me try and get those floors one more time. We'll pull it through and we should be able to build quite a, quite a few rooms in here, actually. So if we do a smaller ones... Yeah, let's do a couple in here. Okay, a few more walls. That should be pretty good. And a quick, uh, quick kind of like a roof here as well. All we need now is some doors. And then a couple of beds inside. Okay, so let's jump back into the furniture beds. And yeah, we're not going to make it anything fancy just yet. Let's make it very basic. And you can be rental, rental, there we go. All right. What news do you bring us? Michael learned corn and so did meat. Okay, very good. Uh, Ray seems to be recovering, so that's okay. And Michael... Okay, that's fantastic. Are you wearing a dress? I uh, think he is. Yep, well, that's okay. Yeah, it just looks very funky for one of our paradise warriors, but hey. If that's what he likes, so be it. And uh, fantastic, so we now got spiral staircases as well. So that way we can have this sort of grand entrance over here. All the, well, the re reception I'm, I'm guessing is going to go somewhere in the corner here. And once they go past the reception, they buy a room or rent a room from us. They can go upstairs and perhaps we'll have a bit of a restaurant up here. Yeah, that could look pretty cool. Uh, a few pumpkins in here, only one though. Okay, food-wise, it's still not as good as I'd like it to be, but you know what? That's okay. Now, why haven't we built those? 
Could be two reasons. One, we don't have enough stone. Or we just have too many tasks for them. Uh, do you know what? We are pretty low on food, so why don't we harvest... Oh yeah, there's like 110 berries over there, so that's uh, that's good. What about... Oh yeah, we've got some corn as well, so we should definitely be able to survive for quite some time. Now, Cap, you have leveled up, so let's take a look at that. Oh, quite a few things. Nice, and you are level 10, which means we can give you an ability as well. Is this passive? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, two for melee. Happy to take that. Beautiful. So in the last episode, we did have some bandits that uh, were hoping to settle in. I didn't quite notice where did they go. However, Megatron was uh, able to spot that towards the end of the episode. The bandits actually left the map, so thank you so much, Megatron, for uh, pointing that one out. Uh, otherwise, I probably would have spent so much time trying to look around the map. So thank you. Thanks a lot for saving me all this time and uh, effort as well. So... So yeah, we're good. We'll wait for the next batch of bandits to come in so we can see how that uh, mechanic works out in this game as well. Now it is night time. So yeah, we'll skip the night and we'll be back in the morning. And here we go. Another day has dawned on us. I've scheduled a couple of tasks for cutting some more logs for us. I know we got about 460 in stock, but I'm pretty sure we're going to go through it very quickly as we progress and build the other side of our sort of reception area, I suppose. Now that we also have two uh, volunteers working for us and helping us out in our colony, I have been thinking about how do we, you know, create a lovely little uh, working area and also living arrangements for them. So what I was thinking, since this area or this side of the building is going to be for our, uh, I guess, nobles. They'll have some nice, lovely, massive bedrooms with balconies in the future. And this side, not really sure, maybe some, uh, I don't know, storages, I guess, or dropping off areas. And uh, we do need an access to go lower. And what I was thinking, if this is going to be a door, let me try and change this around very quickly. If we grab one of you, yep door can go right about there we can have a three wide corridor i believe let's see something like so so the walls could go about there and then perhaps right about here is when we create this uh, spiral uh, staircase that will be will be going down now the only thing i'll have to figure out is how big is it gonna be i think it's most likely a three by three so if we start digging let's see We'll go in from here, then stairs down. Yeah, quite a big staircase. However, it could look or might look quite lovely. So why don't we give it a try? We'll dig in just like so. Meat, are you... Okay, you are cooking already. That is very, very kind of you. And what we probably have to do soon as well is... Let's butcher this imp over here. So that we can get some more hides and leather. But we also have a couple of people here. So why don't we loot them, see what they have. And oh, some straw and a bit of money here. Why don't we store it away? Oh, most likely we don't have the storage just yet. So, okay. Now Cap is building some stuff it seems cooking cleaning and baby dragon is just getting some food okay so why don't we let them catch up with their all those tasks that we uh, have queued up because even today they haven't even started building this area so so yeah let's let them uh, catch up with the tasks and uh, we'll be back as soon as we have a bit more progress i suppose all right, so I've done a little bit of work and uh, let me just pause it for real quick because something interesting happened so we've got the floors in and Baby Dragon is currently finishing off the living space for our rental home as well. Now what had happened was uh, there was a bit of an event where Cap uh, said that he no longer feels safe to live in the colony because he woke up in the middle of the night and Michael was there just staring at Cap which is uh, quite creepy so I totally understand Cap's concerns but uh, I also feel Michael might have been sleepwalking, so we've crafted a quick uh, bouquet over here. All I have to do is now, where is Cap? Okay, Michael, why don't you go and, uh, you know, try and improve your relationship with uh, Cap? 
Cap, where are you off to? You're running away from Michael. Is that what's happening? And there comes Michael with a couple of flowers. And he seems to be chasing Cap, who, of course, is a little bit scared of him. And, uh, alright, so Cap, yeah, Cap is a little bit quicker than Michael, but can he catch up with him? Uh, thanks, but no thanks. What do you mean? Uh, come on, Cap, what are you doing? Okay, how about you go and give him a few flowers? What What's gonna happen then? Michael, come back here. Where are you off to? Okay, wait for, wait for Cap. There he comes. Wow, thanks. Okay, what about now? Oh dear. Let's try it one more time. Cap, do not go anywhere. Just wait here for a second. Michael, you grab some flowers. Have a quick chat. What makes you think? Ah, uh, you guys. Okay, this is not good, guys. Uh, hates Michael. Um, <laughs> Uh, this is not good. What else can we do? Uh, there isn't really a lot that we can do, though. I mean, if he hates him, one of them has to go. Oh dear, Cap is sleeping now, though. And so, so is Michael, right? Have we decided? No, not really. What about you, Michael? Okay, you... Hmm, doesn't really care... Ah, that that that's tough. Don't really want to lose either of them to be to be honest. But if we had to choose Cap or Michael, right? Cap seems to be much better in most things. Although crafting is the hmm, that's pretty high. But seven plus in mining. I know we're gonna do a lot of mining. But then again, if Michael is a bit of a creep, then hmm, I guess he'll have to be punished. Level 10 though. Oh dear, these are all actives. Nah. <laughs> Let's re-roll, see what we get from here. Uh, exact same thing. Zone st uh, skin. No, no. Yeah. Increased armor. Well, that's okay. Uh, can we craft any more or oh, different flowers? No. And the sad thing is, there isn't really many ways how we can improve their relationship either. I mean, hmm, if they had a chance, maybe, maybe if we had like a dining room where they all eat together, maybe that's when they get a chance to, you know, have a, have a nice friendly chat, but we don't have it just yet. Oh yeah, I definitely have to move Baby Dragon and someone else up here. What are you doing? Okay, that's a bit creepy. You're just sitting in the corner and staring at the wall. Hmm. Well, maybe he's passed out as well. I mean, I've, I've got to admit, I am kind of worried because these are our main, two main colonists that we started out with. And I'm not particularly happy about this event. No, not at all. Okay, how about it's a new day. They're about to wake up, get a quick feed, and then Michael... Michael, you should definitely try and, you know, have a quick chat with Cap. Cap scrap some food going over. Alright, yeah, we definitely have to bring the storages over. Okay, eat some food. Maybe you'll be a little bit happier. And now let's do this again. Grab those flowers. Go to Cap. Oh no. What if you go to Michael again? Michael, where are you? Oh, you're here. Okay, give some flowers to him. Too many, too many too soon. Still doesn't care about Cap. Okay, final try, and then I think Michael... I mean, if this doesn't work... Gifts aren't going to help. Okay, I think we're uh, past the... Yeah, I think it's done. Sorry, Michael, but... It seems you are gonna have to go. Or maybe it's, uh, it's Cap that is the drama queen, but since you have a few more things that you really like to do around the colony. I mean, building 11, now that's a tough one to... Hmm, let's go. Yeah, hunting and the rest I don't care so much about. However, crafting is the one that he really loves and he's evil and his building is 11 plus as well. So that's a... Uh, okay, I guess we're gonna have to do it. Okay. 
improve Cap's opinion of Michael or remove either of them to resolve. Who goes? Not ready yet. Maybe there is something else we can do. What if Baby Dragon gets involved? What can he do? You can speak. Oh. Let's see. Where is Cap? Cap's over there and Baby Dragon. What if you go and speak to him real quick? Let's see. Cap, advanced topics. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have much to do, so... Who goes? I'm sorry, Michael. Uh, what can we do? Oh, actually, this might be interesting. We might not have to kick him out. Even though Michael is gonna hate us, but we could... Yeah, you know what, Michael? We're gonna seize him. And I'm very glad that you're... Uh, you know... Very reasonable and understanding about this. Okay, this is our prison here. We've got another prison there. Ray. And maybe we change this over as well. Let's, uh, no, not for rent. Let's turn it into another cell. So perhaps we give them a chance to become uh, friends again. Or at least they don't hate us, so yeah. Okay, it's not as bad as I, I was afraid it might turn out to be. Michael E. is still in our colony. It's just gonna become a volunteer, it seems. Right, okay. We'll definitely have to look uh, look at how we can improve. Oh, that means we can't really build much anymore because Michael had 11 plus in the building section. Well, anyways, firstly, we're gonna have, have to improve some, on, some of our services that we provide in our colony. And secondly, we need to offer him serfdom as quick as we can. Yeah, let's try not to not to lose Michael, but everything might be fine. If all goes well, he will become one of the volunteers. He'll still work for us, we'll be able to unlock everything again. And, you know, and once he's uh, served his time, he might be allowed to join the colony once again. Yeah, this has, this episode has definitely taken a bit of a different turn. I did not see this coming at all, but you know what? It's all part of the experience. Now, it seems we do have a couple of stairs already built in here, so we could start digging uh, this digs in. Yeah, let's uh, dig out this little space in here, and then we'll, uh, yeah, I guess we'll go from there. You're already digging over there. Oh, yes, you are. Okay, that's pretty quick. I would prefer if you guys carry on building everything, though. Definitely want to have... Okay, we've got the roofs in. Get those bits done as well, and that way we will have more rental homes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> deferent, obedient. Right, so how about... Where are you, Ray? You're in this room. Do we have anyone nearby? Meet, cap. Cap, what are you doing? You're cooking, that's fine. Baby Dragon's building. So how about we... Ooh. Go to Ray, let's speak to him. And maybe we can uh, offer him to become our volunteer. Alright, if you can contribute. And it seems Ray is happy with this. Okay, fantastic. Now, if we have a quick look through the things he likes to do as well, maybe firefighting isn't as important, that's fine. And uh, I think the main goal for him was, yeah, let's do some farming. We shall also have foraging, cooking. I know you don't like it, but you know what? Sometimes we got to do things that we don't really enjoy, so that's fine. Crafting and, you know what, logging and then you can help out with building. Fantastic, let's give you a quick schedule as well. And there we go, schedule is updated. Beautiful, so we have another volunteer that's helping us out now. I think with the next volunteer, well, that's gonna be Michael, but he's gonna be our construction uh, volunteer. If we get a fourth one, I'd like them to be more into hauling and cleaning. Cleaning up after our visitors, all those villas, and uh, also you know, maybe, um, yeah, he's just, just making sure that no mess is left behind. Okay, well, it seems the rooms are now ready to be rented out, which is fantastic. 
I think we're going to have to tidy up this area a little bit as well. So if we could dig out this area just a little bit. And maybe even up to here, I suppose. Meat can upgrade. All right, level five. We can also choose the ability. What do we have? Ignored. Oh, okay. That could be... What is this? Minus 10. Untargetable by enemies. Yep, we'll take this one. All right. Beautiful. Now we are going to need a bit of a staircase if this is going to be our main entrance. Uh, let's place you over there for now. I mean, we can move it further down in the future, but right now I think that's a pretty okay location. All right, so quite a few things have happened in this episode, you know, construction wise as well. We've got uh, four rooms for our colonists. We're starting to. I know we didn't get to bring everything over from our old living area, but we'll definitely get it done in the next episode. And so, yeah, that is going to be the end of this one. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I hope we'll see you again in the in the next episode. <laughs>